So here we are, the MPM 4000U, a very easy condenser microphone with a very good quality mic to boot and the ability to plug a headphone right into it. Now, nice part is yes, it's a USB-C cable and it's roughly six or eight feet long. It was very long, went all around my counter before it actually had to get plugged in the computer with plenty of room left over. Now the microphone does have some built-in features to it, which makes it very convenient. One, it has a mute function on it. Two, it has a gain function, so I can increase and decrease the gain right from the actual front of the actual microphone. It also has a green and red indicator to tell me if I'm muted or if I'm on, and it even has a headphone jack with a headphone volume level control. Now, all those things are great, but the most important part is the audio quality, and that's what you're listening to right now. I'm actually talking to you on this particular unit. That's what's recording on the background on the screen, and that's what you're going to get to hear when you watch this video. So it records in CD quality or up to CD quality, which would be like 48 kilohertz, which is really common with these style of microphones, making it very convenient, easy to use for stuff like podcasts, or if you're doing live streaming. And if you're gonna do gaming and you're thinking, would this be the right mic for me? Pretty good idea because it has that gain control on it. When you have gain control, you can increase that volume. So I can push this microphone away increase the sensitivity of the mic and I'll do just fine. So when it comes to the headphone jack, it is a standard 3.5. And like I said earlier, it does have a volume control on it. So this particular model doesn't offer a direct to USB option when it comes to listening. So for my headphone input, it's always going to be USB, which means that if I'm listening to other people, no problem. If I'm listening to playback of a recorded track, no problem. I do not want to listen to myself talking on the microphone because there will be a delay because I do not have the ability to go direct to the microphone and bypass the computer. So, I mean, that is one drawback to the unit, but it's a small one in the overall scheme of things because you have to ask yourself, is there a time where I want to listen to myself directly? And I'm going to say for seven out of 10 people out there, the answer is no. If you are three out of the 10 people, well, then you're going to have to look at something else. Now, Morant did want to keep this extremely efficient when it comes to engineering design, make it work really well. They do incorporate some software with it, which is really nice. And I mean, it's up to you. You can use any software at all. We use Audacity here, but of course you can use the include software complementary with the system because you bought the mic, you get some software. That's going to include the MPC Beats program from Akai, and it's also going to include 20 Air plugins as well. So that's part of when you buy the microphone, you get that as well. Just register it on the manufacturer's website and follow the bouncing ball. Outside of that, I, I actually like the microphone because the clip is removable from the base, which is nice. It's a generic mount. I could mount it onto any of my boom arms. It just simply works. I can easily slide a pop filter in front of it or put a sponge over it to just cut the edge off of it a little bit. Those are all nice beneficial things that you can do because it's generic. It's not going to be something special. I always want to use it on this particular mount because I need access to these knobs. But besides that, it does work out really well. So here we are just before adding the wing cover to it. And it's just basically that sponge cover that you see. We're going to put that on top and see if you like the sound any better. So now remember, this is actually sold separately, but you know, they're not expensive. You usually get them in a five pack and it works. Any standard microphone cover will do just fine. And that's what we've done here. It takes off a little bit of the sharpness in my voice and it makes it a little bit smoother. That's pretty much what it's going to do. You could easily have done that with a pop filter in front of it, but that's really your choice. If I'm going to be on camera, of course, I don't want to have a big pop filter in front of me. It kind of blocks the view. Setup of the unit, extremely easy. All you really have to do is plug it in, give it about 30 seconds. It'll take whatever drivers it wants. It'll make it happen for you and it will just work. Run whatever software you'd like to have. You can run the included software or any software you've become accustomed to. It does work on all PCs and it will work on a Mac. Remember the cable that comes included is a USB-C to USB. You're going to want an adapter or maybe you probably already have a hub to make your life work easy so you can plug all these accessories in. Outside of that distance, it's relative to how you set the game. If you want to be really up close, you want to sing into this microphone, you can do that easily. You can adjust the gain, look at the computer, see how you're doing. That's like I said, what's playing on the back screens here. Once you've actually dialed it into what you're looking for out of it, I'm going to try and get as much as I can without distorting the sound, of course. And for my use here, what I would do is I would then take this actual audio track. I would see if I need any amplification on it, and then I would run a noise filter on it. And then after when I'm all done, I'd run a compressor on it to kind of even it out throughout the entire video. Everybody does what they think is right for their videos or for their audio tracks. It's all up to you. Outside of that, I think it's fun. I think it's a great way to start if you're just working on your own and you want to have something easy and reliable. 
and you're thinking, well, where do I need to spend my money and how much money do I need to spend? This is it. Right now, as pricing goes, we take a look, see on Amazon. That'll be the links down below. It's only $79. Now, that's at the time I'm making this video. That price can go up or down at any point in time. So please don't hold me like responsible for the price. But around $80 for this, that's a bargain. That's a true deal. Easy to get your hands on. Just order one. It'll show up at your house in a couple of days. And it'll work just like this one here. And again, if you want it for singing, that's okay. It's a great mic to start with there. If you want it for podcasting or for doing videos, another great mic for that as well. And I wouldn't have a problem, like I said earlier, for gaming, because you've got game control. You can have it closer, further away. And remember, you can still put it on that arm and have it just like any other microphone you have in a studio. And remember, at any point in time, if you feel good enough, please hit that you know like button, hit that thumbs up. And also you can subscribe. That's always there for you. And don't forget to comment. That's what people do. Just write something down below. So remember, if you'd like to learn any more about this product, the links will be down below for you. Remember the Amazon links and any other links are affiliate links. That's what supports this channel and helps pay all the bills. So I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.